I got your wig and yes, you're still mad. I got your wig and ha 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 ha. I got your wig and ha 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 ha. You're so upset and I could care less. Get out of my face. I got your wig and yes, you're still mad. Ooh, you're mad, bitch. I can't wait as a fan to find out what goes on in this phone conversation that Heather gets while we're in Bermuda. I know you can't tell me exactly what happens, but what can you tease about that? And does this kind of change the course of the season? Absolutely. It, you know, she learned stuff on that call. And like I said, I had certain things that, you know, I already knew that made the whole lawsuit less surprising. Okay. There were, so there were had, a lot the, of elements that went into you know, this call. Sure. And I was shocked. shocked. It was not something I ever, ever in a million years would have expected. Okay, so it might have something to do with the whole legal situation. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, God, God, why? Why? oh my God, was somebody like <laughs> booking a flight home immediately? <laughs> like, I could imagine this was crazy. <laughs> it was, was this the most explosive cast trip that you've ever been on? Yeah, for yeah. so many reasons. Mm -hmm. It's not even it's not even just the fighting in and of itself. Sure. Definitely set a precedent, yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. You are reality Montees. Okay. Just give me a minute. Wait till everyone's here. I have something really important I need to tell you. I got your text. What's going on? Hey, thanks for meeting hey. me. Yeah, what's up? Are you okay? Let's wait for Meredith. Okay. Nice. Hi. Hi. Thanks for on? coming. What is going on? Um, I'm nervous. You know, I'm shaking. Yeah, me too. I know, so am I. There's something I need to tell you guys. Okay. And it's big and it's not good what is it you're gonna cry you know we've heather you guys we've come a long way as far we have and monica is not who she says she is okay she's not our friend she's someone that has schemed and worked to infiltrate our friend group Okay, what's And the happening? name that you all know her as, the woman whose birthday we celebrated, who we have been trying to champion and support and defend. Is Reality Von Teese. Why'd she leave? Why'd she return? Send me all the deets. And who am I? That's one secret I'll never tell. The only one. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Where is she being, Serena? And who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO, Gossip Girl. We released all the videos about Jen. That was Monica that recorded them. All of those audio recordings and behind the scenes secrets, things that have hurt and affected our lives that we've fought over for three years were all posted, curated, and spread by her. You are reality Montees. No. You are an internet troll. You are a cyber bully. Girl, I know. That's exactly why I called her a snake. Like, you dumb bitch. Like, low-key, I want to DM Mary from, like, a burner account. She probably wouldn't ever see it. And just be like, bitch, I could do it from reality Montees. Okay? But anyway. Because, you know, she'd be watching that shit. And she would open our messages. And just be like, just so you know, a Jillian, one of our followers fucking said that she said everything. Just so you fucking know. Bitch, that girl is a fucking dirty, dirty rat. She's a rat, rat, rat. You guys, I think I might drive up to Park City because... The movers are coming today. What do you guys think? Should I do it to record for like 
BTS reality Von T's footage. This is what I'm in make disguise. Make me a matchmaker, make me a match. Driving by Jen's house. Low key, I think I might find I might have found my father's actual descent. Like, look, at the end of the day, my goal is to be a star, bitch. <laughs> kind of joking, but also kind of serious. Like, I don't want to ruin my chances for ever being on a Bravo show. Hello. Hello. No. That means it's part true. Oh, my God. Disgusting, Lisa. It's disgusting. You think you can sit at our table and have us celebrate your birthday? That was a lot. <sighs> okay. Um, how I will start this off is by saying, our reputations in this city precede us. If you've known me, if you've worked with me, if you've been around me, you know my character. If you know Monica, if you've experienced Monica, if you've seen what she's capable of, it's wild. Um, I definitely have a lot to say. I definitely have a lot of evidence to show that she is lying completely lying um i just want to make sure i say it with a level-headed from a level-headed place okay um i was fully aware of that page uh fully around for all of it um at that time in my life, I just really thought I was supporting my friends and doing the right thing by supporting them because they had gone through traumatic experiences with someone else. And so this is what they wanted to do. And I was like, I don't have no beef with this girl, but hey, I mean, if this is how you guys feel like I can best support you and your trauma, then me being who I was and loyal to a fault, obviously, um supported them and thought that this was how I could support them. Um, as my career started taking off, I fell more and more back from that group of people, Monica, um, and stopped wanting to hear about it. And it's just what it is. And then that screenshot that was shown, like we're in holiday, give us Heather's address. Her and Koa would literally go and sit in people's, people's, Jen's, freaking neighborhood for hours we would always be like girl what's the freaking point like go home and she would always try to figure out all the ladies addresses and stuff but i'm i'm like heather's my new client i'm not gonna tell you her address like what i know what you're capable of and now you're doing it to me in real time like literally Got a boyfriend in my neighborhood, 17 seconds from my house. I timed it. Um, like, I literally had to file a police report because a girl likes to go to people's neighborhoods. And because I knew what she was capable of, I freaking filed a police report. Like, <laughs> this girl knows no bounds. Like, she is, she knows no bounds. She knows no bounds. And let's talk about the housewife that Tanisha works for. She knew about these recordings before they were posted. She knew very well about these recordings and was willing to use them against Jan. And I have proof of that. Next slide. I gave them my Instagram. Let me back up. I gave them my Instagram that I was looking at my baby daddy with because... Their first Instagram got shut down within, like, minutes. Oh, wow. Um, or the videos got taken down, something like that. Either the page got shut down or the videos got taken down, something like that. Right. And then they were like, well, we need another burner. And I was like, well, I have this fence that I look at my baby daddy with, and you guys can take that. So they had me change the name on it, whatever, whatever. So that's why I was logged into it. And then I logged out. So after I logged out, it was only Monica. Monica changed the passwords. Monica changed everything. 
Wow. So, She's so funny then to be like, oh my God, there were six people. Yeah, she, it, it, no. Where's that coming from? I have no idea, but I literally have a whole screenshot of when she, when the other girl who was helping with helping her with the Twitter um, deleted the Twitter and she had to reset the password again. So it was mainly her. My whole it thing. Was not mainly, it was only her. I wow. she it was only Monica. She would ask us to help her with captions and stuff like that. Who was running that page was Monica. 100% Monica. We would give her a little like, yeah, post this or no, don't do that. Or that looks weird. Like I wouldn't do that if I was you. I opened that message on accident from the J guy. And he said that he is just running all over and he'll send some more tea soon and then winked. What should I respond? Mad bitch. Mad bitch. Mad bitch. Tragic. I couldn't hear your message at all, but honestly, I agree. I think that Andy is saving face because I'm pretty sure Bravo has a bigger plan than what we can actually see. So patience is a virtue. We all yes, and phase two, let's get fucking ratchet. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Honestly, I say we start letting out all her shit because even if she knows who it is, she can't prove it. So while she can't prove it, fuck being nice, like. Tell the world what an evil cunt she is, because she's a cunt. You didn't have to give that information away to your housewife, to the other castmates, to build the storyline and paint you out to be this Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I'm still waiting for the other castmates and women to share what Real Levante spoke about them because if you go back and look at that page and if you've been following that page since 2021 thank you very much but there is nothing that says anything about the other women if it mentioned the other women in or on that page or in the stories of that page it was in favor of them pack your bags and go I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down and talk to a few people. A few people have reached out, and I'm going to tell every single detail. I have a folder. I named it Monica in my galleries of over, like, 1,500 screenshots. Unite those four assholes. That's the only thing that you did. Mm. How how can you forget that your job is to get on air time, to get as, to get into as many scenes as possible? You gotta play nice. I know you don't like her. I know you got beef with her, but you're you're an actress. You gotta pretend like all is right in the world. It's a it's a job. It's a show. It's a it's a reality show that you worked hard to get on. You left me.
me completely in the fucking water with these bitches. You took Andy's side. I was not a disaster. I was not an embarrassment. You were in she... someone's home yelling and dropping S. So was everyone else. Go yell at them. Go yell at Heather. No, Go yell at Lisa. No one else was Yes, S they S were. Balls. You should have been listening harder then, I guess. You should have been listening harder. She started this it. Is a joke. Don't come over here don't and start personal. this shit with me. Don't make it personal. You don't understand? Go talk to Lori because you're a fucking mess. And you fucked it up yesterday. She's the head person. You should know who she is. Okay. You are insane. You looked like a crazy person. Just so you know. Don't. Don't do oh, that. Classy. I took the day classy. off. Super I classy. I took the day off from I work. fell down the fucking I'm stairs. The, that's and all you. you could... That's on you. Wow. Nobody pushed you down the stairs. I took... Wow! Get out of my house! The day Get the off fuck out of my work. house. Get the I fuck the out of my of house. Work. I fell down the stairs and you're like, that's on you? That's, that's on right. you? That's you're that's disgusting. You. You're disgusting. That's on you. You are disgusting. Bye. Bye. Thank you for coming over with this toxic shit. Thank you. Fucking balls. Take the fucking balls. You are so gross. Your kid falls down the stairs and you say that's on me. You are so gross. You should not. You are so gross. You shouldn't have run away. Run away? I was leaving. You were in my you face. You shouldn't have run away. Being disgusting in front of you all were those being people. Disgusting. I was being disgusting. You Angie being started disgusting. that shit. Angie started it. You put a kibosh on. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, okay. You don't know what you're doing. Okay, bye, bye. You came over and you abandoned me. I abandoned you? I abandoned you. I took the day Are you fucking serious right now? the last day of the month. Are you fucking serious right now? I had a drive home in a shit box. A shit box? You should be grateful they paid for your ride. How about thank you for giving me a free ride home? How about thank you? I took the day off from work to do that. I did you. say that. And, and you, then you no, fucking... You yes, I you did. did. Mom, no, you stop. Stop. The fact the that you are the victim the right mom. now... I'm not saying I'm the victim. You are acting like the victim. Well, you're you yelling. said... Don't you said, I'm in my Take house. I'm in my Take house. It down. You don't want to be yelled at? Take then leave. Down. I don't have to. I don't have to. You, you are in my sight. house. You lost sight of the vision. You have you oh lost sight of the job. Oh my god. You lost sight. You got <gasps> okay. out of control. And that's why and that's why Lori house. said my shit was the best of everyone that night. Stop. And everyone else what? dropped the fucking because ball. You were the hottest mess that makes you the best. Yeah. That's what you Get want. The assignment. That's what you Get want. Get the to put assignment. Out. You, want you were me? disgusting. You looked like an awful mother. You didn't even fucking care I fell down the stairs. No, no you wanted... I didn't. Wow. Okay, get out. Get out, dead ass. Get out of my house. Nana is waiting. She's very upset. Thanks. And your boobs hanging you know, out was disgusting. Okay. Uh, Megan, Meg is a fan of Monica. You are not a fan of Monica at the moment, and there was a lot of legal drama. I have a theory that she just came in thinking because we were friends it was a freebie. What is the latest with that? Well, she was a customer at Beauty Lab years ago, and the case has been like, the reason it's been active now is because it just, the press picked it up. But it wasn't really a, I mean, I can't speak a lot about it yeah. legally, but essentially she was a customer years ago. And I think we have a saying at Beauty Lab, everybody is VIP at Beauty Lab. Just because you're on TV doesn't mean we're not going to pursue unpaid yeah. bills. Wow. Now, you said that you would never film with Monica again. And apparently, we're hearing she didn't leave on good terms with anyone from the reunion. Do you think she will still have a future on the show? I mean, there is a lot to come. There is so much <laughs> to come with Housewives. I mean, and everyone says it's a great season, but there's more happening. And right now, I am not friends with Monica. And it's a show that we film with our friends. And with the legal battle going on and the way that we left things at reunion, you know, we're not friends right now. And I don't see us making amends. <laughs> Damn, Monica, I didn't know your ass was this unhinged, okay? Girl, your old friend got police reports on your ass. And what did you do to make this girl spill all your secrets like this in recordings and so on? I guess you didn't particularly do anything because she took part in this page as well. But now she working for Miss Heatherette. Hmm. And now all of a sudden, Miss Heatherette uses this information on the finale of the show. Hmm, girl, I feel like you knew all season.
because again how all of a sudden maybe you knew last season too because i don't know just something is not adding up to me that this girl is now your assistant who is spilling all this tea on miss monica Lewinsky all on my gown did she tell you before she started doing your hair or after like how did how did this all happen? You're talking about Miss Monica Lewinsky all on my gown slash reality Bontis infiltrated the group. But I mean like the hairstylist did too because she's doing your hair too and she's still working for you. But she also took part of the page or in the page or whatever the fuck. I'm confused on why y'all are like mad at Miss Monica Lewinsky all on my gown. I mean I'm not confused on why you guys are mad at her because I get it. But then how come you're letting this bitch do your hair? Not Monica, but the girl who's spilling all Monica's secrets and tea. You letting her do your hair, but you also mad at Monica when this bitch who did your hair took part in the page too. Uh, okay, girl. Pack your bags and go. Like I said, I'm just a bit confused on why Heather Rett is excusing this hairstylist behavior in part in this page, but not Miss Monica Lewinsky all on my gown. I, I mean, none of them should be excused, really, but I'm not letting no bitch play in my motherfucking head who's been making pages and posts about me that are not good, that are not nice. That don't make no goddamn sense. She ain't about to be pulling and plucking on my motherfucking edges. What I have left. Hell the fuck no. Ew. Uh, like JK, but like maybe not. But thank you for watching. But you hating ass bitches always have something to say. Hating ass bitch, but you're still watching my vids. What? 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 <laughs> You're so upset. But that's like okay because have a piece of bread, have a Xanax, relax because I said what I said.